Okay, problem 10 just uses X and Y, so they don't make it as easy to figure out what's what here, but let's, let's unwrap this, shall we? A repair companies charge for repairing a certain type of copy machine fits the model of Y equals, so the repair company's charge is the Y. And then where Y is the number of dollars charged and X is the number of minutes the repair person is at the job. And the X is in the equation. So how many minutes would it take for the cost of the repair to reach 120? So the cost is the charge, that's how much. Again, Y is the number of dollars charged, so that's the same thing as the cost of the repair. So this 120 actually goes where the Y is. So our equation is Y equals 47.38 plus 0.617X. And the 120 should go here because they're asking me to solve, where is it? How many minutes would it take for the cost of the repair to reach 120? And X is the number of minutes, so we're solving for X. All right, so put the 120 here. And then again, you can use your graphing calculator to find the point of intersection of the left side of the equation and the right, it's up to you. Um, but since, you know, I'm here on my whiteboard, I'm going to subtract the 4738 from both sides. So 120 minus 4738, comes out to be 7262. And that's going to equal the 0.6117x on the right. And then I'm just going to divide that off. And what you do to one side, got to do to the other. So those cancel. And so I still got the 7262 in my calculator screen. So I'll just hit divide by 0.617. Let my calculator do the math. Okay, I end up with 117.69. Five, four, one, three. <laughs> That's my X. And then if you look at the fine print up here, I did say round to the nearest minute. Uh, the nearest minute would be the nearest whole number. And since that's a seven, and the next number is a six, your 117 minutes will go up to 118 minutes. And remember, this is a word problem. Out in the real world, every number that you come in contact with has a unit attached to it. Only in math class do you get an answer of x equals 3 and 3 means absolutely nothing. So with my word problems, make sure you have put the units with your answers so that we know what the heck you're talking about here. And be glad I'm not making you write out a whole sentence. Okay, that'd be my next level. So. And that's the answer to number 10.